So this is our test for Secchi depth, and we use an instrument called a Secchi disc. So again, for this test, we make sure that we're not wearing our sunglasses, and we're going to be doing the test on the shady side of the boat, just because we don't want the sunlight obstructing our view. So as you can see, the disc has two white and two black portions that are easy to see in the water. So the most important thing about this test is that as you're lowering it down, this is especially for conditions of, with moving water, you want to make sure that the disc goes straight down as much as you possibly can get it. So to perform the test, you lower the, the disc down into the water until the point that you can't see it anymore. And once it's reached the point where you can't see the disc in the water anymore, you pinch the rope right at the surface of the water. And once you have that pinch, pull it up a little bit to the point where you can just barely see the disc and you pinch the rope a second time at the surface of the water. Then when you pull the disc all the way up, you have two readings and the average of the two readings, so right in the middle, will be your total Secchi depth. Now the rope has increments marked already on it uh, of meter and half meter. So the black is half meter, red is a meter, and you can use these to take your depth. So here I have a meter. I have just under 1.5 meters for my Secchi depth at this black mark here. So you can also reference the field guide. Pages 16 and 17 have all the information that you need to know about Secchi depth.